Properly cleaning the panels before you move to the painting process is critical to the success of your paint project. And since there's more than one type of contamination, you should use more than one type of cleaner for the panels, such as pre-painting prep, isopropyl alcohol, even a glass cleaner. Check out how we cleaned Project Z Sled before moving on to the Boulevard Black base coat and show clear. Whenever I'm prepping a vehicle or parts for a paint job, I use a three-step cleaning process, starting with a glass cleaner, which is a nice organic debris cleaner. I follow that with a prep solvent wipe down. Pre-painting prep is a good one. And then finally, before I shoot paint, I use an alcohol wipe down in a pump sprayer. The alcohol gets very aggressive things like acidic fingerprints up off of the substrate and works as a very nice anti-static spray as well. And remember, don't use paper towels as a final wipe. Spend a little extra money on some body shop safe, lint-free towels. It's money well spent. Step one of the three-step process is the glass cleaner. Okay, just to prove a point, as clean as that car looked, look what I picked up off the surface. You're not ready, even if it looks clean. You gotta clean it. Here's the other thing, this one's done. It's gone, get a new one. You're gonna spend a little money on towels, but you're gonna have a clean surface. Step two, after the glass cleaner, is pre-painting prep. You wanna wipe one direction, roll your rag, you're trying to evacuate the solvent off the top, not rub it in. Again, second stage. Look at the dirt I'm picking up. This is why, this is why three stages of prep. It's why it's so important. You gotta be clean, baby. Your final wipe solvent also gives you the opportunity to test for straightness. It's another way to wet check. The last of the three steps is the alcohol wipe down. Now keep in mind, this is isopropyl alcohol, not rubbing alcohol. It's a 75% alcohol, 25% water mix that I get from a local drugstore. What that does, rather than rubbing alcohol, is it has a higher flash point. What does a higher flash point mean? Well, you're not gonna blow yourself up if you have a static charge on the surface, like fiberglass or something like that. So keep safe, use the 75-25 isopropyl alcohol. It smells minty fresh. And look at that, where do I keep picking up dirt? I don't know, but I keep cleaning until my rags come off clean. That one's toast. I let my tack rag sit opened up for a few minutes to mute the sticky so it doesn't stay on the panel. For the first tack wipe, I use a blow nozzle set at about the same pressure as I spray. This blows out any dust particles and debris into the tack rag and gets it out of the cracks and crevices. Lastly, I ball up the tack rag loosely and give the panels a final tacking just for good measure. So here's another tip, just like in the video, expand your tack rags, let them sit out in the air for a while, and it keeps the sticky stuff from being deposited onto your panels before you paint. So for more tech tips from me and the guys at Eastwood, make sure you click to subscribe before heading on over to eastwood.com for all the supplies you need to do the job right.